Hi, I'm Stuart from Hi-Fi Pig. We're here at the Bristol Hi-Fi Show 2023. I'm here with John Hunter of Rel Acoustics Limited, who's going to show you and take you through the full product range from Rel and tell you a little bit about the company. Hi there, this is John Hunter from Rel Acoustics. I'm here in Bristol, England for the Bristol Hi-Fi Show. We're just walking you through portions of our range. This is the Carbon Special. This is a really, as the name implies, very special part of our mix. It's a full carbon fiber. This is, this is the closest I would say you can get to our reference range. Uh, it, it just over half the price, so it gives you some idea of the value that's implicit in this. Uh, it uses, as do many of the ones in our in our larger ranges, uh, a thousand watt amplifier. Here we've we've limited it to about 850, 900 watts, but it's a fantastic piece. Its sort of fraternal twin is the 812, and the 812 takes uh, a, a slightly different approach. In order to save some costs, we're using an aluminium cone that's a, a, a flow form cone, and it uses um, carbon fiber as a lattice work on the back of it to damp the aluminium. It stiffens it and quiets it, so it won't sound like a, a metal drivered uh, subwoofer. It's very powerful, very potent. The difference between these two is if you have really some state-of-the-art speakers that may be on the smaller side of things, this is the way to go. All three of the S's can be stacked and locked together in what's called a line array, where it's three per side. It's an amazing combination. I know people have all kinds of misgivings about having the six subwoofers in my home. It's going to eat me for dinner or something. It's not how it works. It's just brilliant sound, whether it's music or movies uh, that comes to life. Again, same amplifier over here, 800 watt amplifier, 12 inch with a down firing 12. Brilliant, they work fantastically. Our stuff is so reliable, uh, it's amazing. A little 510 kind of the perfect subwoofer for so many people. Um, it's an active, very powerful 10 inch driver being driven by a 500 watt amplifier. We've been using these, uh, the, the basic amplifiers that are in this for about 10 years now, 12 years. We've produced hundreds of thousands over the years now and they're just so reliable. 10 inch active with about two inches of throw, 12 inch down firing passive. It's a beautiful, pretty compact combination looks fantastic and as you can see available in both piano black lacquer and white lacquer this is the series range from rel these are quite new to us uh, we brought these out just a few months back this is the mark ii generation of our ht range the ht range was developed to have really potent and very affordable uh, very powerhouse driven uh, home theater subwoofers along the way uh, everything that we built into these. We have new special secondary filters that allow uh, the, the explosiveness of special effects to come through with greater authority. Brand new 500 watt and 300 watt amplifiers that are more powerful and, and, and just have a different signature. It's a bigger, richer, more powerful signature than the last one. And a completely redesigned um, driver element. We're now um, able to produce these drivers in the same factory that produces our Siri S, our Siri TX's. So it's, it's much more integrated into the RHEL family sound and, and the production quality is incredible. The top panel is absolutely gorgeous. It looks like black glass from here. Uh, the, the, the side walls, I'm sure you can't see the detail, but come into the store and look at it. Um, the, the finish is, is less expensive than our five or 12 coat lacquer process on the big ones. Uh, but but it looks literally like line grained aluminium. It's such an expensive Tony look. This is the middle of the range. Again, uh, 500 watts, 12 inch driver with about two and a half inches of stroke, uh, 300 watt, 10 inch driver. These are incredibly potent and powerful. This literally will play 50% louder than the first generation and the first generation played too loud for me, frankly. The new 1003 actually will play just a little louder than the outgoing 12 inch 500 watts. So we've really sort of bottled some whitening with these. Very briefly, the T TX's, and I'll start with the T9, uh, are, are really kind of the backbone of the line for everybody. Um, they derive essentially from our Siri S's. It's extremely important to us that the people that buy these get extremely well taken care of. By the time you're buying S's and references, you know how much care that we put into all of our products. But often this is your first experience of a row and it's super important. These are people that may be young people that have saved for a couple of years 
and it's so important to us that they have a world-class experience their first time out. 9X is a 10 inch, 300 watt design, has an active 10 inch forward firing and a 10 inch down firing passive. It's extremely powerful in a very compact form. All the TXs are built to the same standard. Every one of them we use very rugged Class AB amplifiers we've been using for 18 years. They're as reliable and, and tuneful and musical as you can get. This is also where the use of the high level connection begins in the REL family. High level allows you to take a feed directly off the, the speaker terminals on the back of your amplifier. So the binding posts on the back of your power amp and feed it forward and you get a perfect blend when you do that. Your main speakers and your subwoofer can be perfectly blended because we're feeding it exactly the same signal we're sending your speakers. From the 9X, we step to the 7X. The 7X is the same format, smaller cabinet, eight inch active driver, 10 inch down firing passive, and 200 watts. By the way, this cute little thing you see sticking up over the top here is an incredible wireless system called Aero. It literally plugs into the back. There is no active circuitry going on inside if you don't do it. And the significance of that is you will not be woken up in the middle of the night with strange rumblings and thumpings because something in your subwoofer is picking up RF from you know, some ind uh, you know, indeterminate radio transmitter somewhere. It's a great piece. It's a wonderful adjunct to the entire TX range. And then here with the T5X, sort of the baby of the family, it's a single down firing eight inch, 125 watt design. It's much more potent and powerful sounding than the specifications would suggest. It has the ability to, to fill a pretty good sized living room uh, and, and do it well. All of these will handle both the high level circuit I talked about. They of course have a standard LFE in, uh, input, excuse me, uh, a, a low level input and an LFE input, which is the one for special effects in movies and things. And without talking about it too much, all three of the TXs have the ability to do both the high level and the LFE simultaneously. It allows you to listen to music, go to movies, don't have to plug anything in, adjust anything, two completely different circuits, two different volume controls. You set each one and forget it, and you just use them and love it. Finally, this is in the T range, not the TX. This is the T0 Mark III. We've been building some version of this for about, oh gosh, if you take it all the way back to the Quake, probably 20 years. Um, this is a not terribly expensive piece with a single down firing six and a half inch driver. Um, it has a 100 watt amplifier. We built thousands upon thousands of these over the years and the, the owners just love them. There's something about the cute little tiny form factor and the fact that it actually does respectable deep bass for not too much money. So again, this is what for us is our entry ranges. It's just fantastic build quality. If you're somebody new to the game and you're really looking for something that makes sense and doesn't, won't break the bank, the TX range or in smaller places, a, a T0 or T5X are fantastic.